driver in these parts can tell you, Pima County roads are plagued with potholes. On some of the roads, they're just a hassle, but on others, as you've told us, it's pretty much hell. Like one that heads out of Miranda. Now, not all of Aver Valley Road here is plagued with the pitted perdition, but the farther west you go, the worse it gets. And we're going to show you a bigger stretch here. It's about seven miles. This is Aver Valley Road going up toward the mine up here, and this part is the worst. People are forced to navigate the trail of small craters are fed up. So they ask not on your side to find out why the county has left them to languish. They want to know. So does not in your side. So we sent Maggie Vespa to get some answers. It's a rough, rugged, pothole ridden roadway. Describe this road for us. Potholes that touch each other. Patches that touch each other. Morana's West Avra Valley Road nearly cost Ryan Connolly a steady paycheck. A monster jolt damaged his door latch, jamming the door shut shortly before he arrived for a job interview. So I literally drove around to the other side of the parking lot, climbed out of my truck, got the job, came back, climbed in through the other side of my truck, went home and pulled my door apart and fixed it. For Brian Healy, the cost was more tangible. You've had a lot of bills essentially come yeah. out of this trip, daily trip. Somewhere around $2,000 basically. Financially, it's been horrible. Finally, there's Felicia Royball. After hitting a particularly powerful pothole last winter, she almost paid the ultimate price. I went to correct, and when I did correct, that's when the steering um, pin broke. I rolled my truck and I broke a rib. You might think these three would wise up and take an alternative route. Problem is, this battered excuse for a road is the one and only route Connolly, Healy, Royball, and hundreds of others can take to get to work at Silver Bell Mine. I've been doing, you know, mining for so long, I really don't know anything else, and so I don't have any other options. I can't fly to work. Fed up and frightened, they took their complaints to the powers that be, Pima County. The county's helpful solution? It lowered the speed limit. Makes you mad when, when you're getting ignored. Uh, and that's when we called you guys. So I sat down with County Transportation Director Priscilla Cornelio. These people seem to have paid a significant amount because they have to drive on a road that the county is not able to maintain. And they say that's just not fair. Well, I would have said almost the same thing. It's not fair. And here's where the finger pointing begins. It's not fair that the legislature has been taking our monies. It's not fair that I don't have enough money to take care of the roads in the condition that we want. Cornelio says that in 2006, cuts to Arizona's highway user revenue funds put the brakes on resurfacing. By the end of last year, 61% of the county's 1,800 plus miles of roadway were in poor or failing condition. Some money is flowing again, but it will take years to catch up, and not every road is a priority. So we have to look at traffic volumes. Are there any safety issues? And what's it? you know, costing us to take care of it. With only a small group of travelers, roads like West Abra Valley have to wait. To fix it is going to cost um, more than $1.5 million. So as things stand now, West Abra Valley Road will continue to be a window-rattling, teeth-jarring nightmare through at least 2015, unless lawmakers cough up more cash. When, when people get criticized, oftentimes you people start trying to point fingers away from themselves. But don't look to State Senator Al Melvin for sympathy. He says the state is paying enough. This is a substantial amount of money year in and year out, 56 million a year. And if the county is pointing the finger at lawmakers like him, Melvin is pointing right back, saying other counties make it work and Pima will just have to do the same. It's taking into account state shared revenue and population size of counties, I think uh, Pima County at 56 million a year is getting its fair share. But don't try telling that to Roy Ball. You know, I'm somebody's wife and I'm somebody's mother. Um, what if it were your wife or your mother that were coming out here and risking her life coming down this road year after year? Would you still turn a blind eye and a deaf ear? Reporting in Pima County, I'm Maggie Vespa, KGUN 9 on your side.
And here's the on your side bottom line tonight. While the politicians and the appointed officials finger point, people who pay their taxes and rely on the government to do its job feel like they're getting hosed. We do live in a democracy, though, and we suggest that you let those officials and elected leaders hear from you. You can find a full list of contacts on our web version of this story posted on KGUN9.com. And this story is one that came from you, our viewers. Here at Night on Your Side, you ask, we investigate. You can email or call us anytime. And stick around because Erin Christensen has the forecast for your weekend when we come back.